Hey, this is Greater Rabbit with Automation, the car company tycoon game. So, I've had this game for quite a long time now, and uh, as you can see, I have made a lot of cars. But today, I think, finally, I think I'm gonna do one for a video, basically. So, Let's just click new car. And, uh, I like older cars a lot better than newer cars. So let's go, like, 1976, I guess? Eh, maybe not. Okay, uh, 1968, 1969. Um, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do. What is this body style? Uh, also, oh. It's not working. Also, I have a ton of mods downloaded. And, uh... Yeah. Um, you can find this game on Steam as well. Uh, Steam is the best place to get games, as any good gamer should know. And, um... Uh, I have... Many... Many... Different... Uh... Games from Steam, well, not actually that many, but anyway, let's pick a body style. So I'm thinking American, big, fat, you know, muscle car -y. and maybe we should go to 1958, because then I'll be able to make whatever I want. So, uh, actually this body style looks pretty good. That's more of a 61. So... Hmm, should I make it convertible? Because I always think they kind of look like brooms to me. Or should I make it like Mustang? This one's huge. Should I make a huge gigant, huge antic car? Or or a small antic car? Is this a four door? I think I want to make a smaller one. Because I like the way they, uh, it looks better. It looks a lot better to me. And, uh, I think the body style that I'm going to choose, uh, I guess this was a good one. So, I'm not really going to fiddle with it, because if I fiddle with it, um, I'm probably going to ruin it. Maybe we'll take that out of cool a little bit, because that looks kind of cool to me quality I'll just leave it where it is now chassis normally there were ladder chassis and I'm gonna go galvanized steel as well front longitudinal makes sense because it's a super fast car this date isn't quite right so I'm just gonna like do 65 I guess so uh, uh front transverse longitudinal uh I forgot which one is front engined or an engine. Ah. Whatever. Uh, solid axle coil steel. I'm gonna test my theory uh, really quickly. Uh, rear wheel drive. Uh, I don't care if this thing works at all. And I just, I just messed up the game. Oh, it's all right. Sorry, sorry. Uh. Dang it. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. And, uh, I don't really care if this car works or not. Because I'm just seeing which way the engine, because I do feel like a bit of an idiot, but I don't remember where the, uh, where the, which way longitudinal and transverse is. I'm pretty sure longitudinal is the way that I want it. But just to be sure, I'm gonna take a look. Oh, no. Uh, well, whichever way it is right now, that is the way that I want it. So that is... I remember that. That is... Longitudinal. That was correct. Now. Um... Let's see. Solid X leave to me trailing arm. I don't know. Let's 
which one has better sportiness? So this one has good sportiness. So I'm gonna pick that. Um, styling. I don't know. So I want to make this simple. So let's say we have uh, choices, choices. Well, I'm just for starters. I'm gonna put a big square grill in the front there. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. All right, that looks pretty cool. Well, actually, I don't know because I feel like a bit too many slices, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that looks good. Looks pretty sixties, guess. Um, now headlights, uh, badge. Well, since this is a car from Mark. I'm gonna put a nice big badge on there. Yeah. Cause you know, these Americans, us Americans, we want our big American cars to have their big American badges. So everyone knows, I'm driving a Ford! So, uh, let's <clears throat> see. Uh, I would do square headlights, but I think that circular headlights are a bit more 60s in that way. So I'm just gonna put, like, uh, I don't know, twin headlights here. I'm thinking, like, maybe put some indicators right here, because that would look cool. So, headlight number one, headlight number two is going on right now. <clears throat> and, uh, indicators. I'm thinking the square is square can be, because I'm just gonna slap this thing on. Uh,. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put it on like that. And, uh, when you ever do this, it's kind of weird. Like, when you try to do that, you think, oh, that's gonna change its height. Nope, it changes the width. So, because, you know, it's off. Oh, my goodness. Baby, we gotta go. Come on, fit. Oh, no. Oh my goodness, this this does not make any sense. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. So let's see, does it work this time? If we just flip it like that as, as straight as I can get it, I would think that's about as straight as I can get it. And then shrink it, and I'm probably gonna widen it once I get to it on there. All right, be careful. Yeah, there we go. So um, let's get this centered up right there. Oh, shoot. Uh, shoot, shoot. That's what I meant to do. And uh, let's raise it up. And widen it out. Move it over a little bit. And we'll make it chrome. Because I like my chrome. Whenever I make a 60s car, 60s car, I like to have my chrome. Because chrome is like a fixture of older cars. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm not really taking too much time on the styling because I kind of want to get to the other parts. So let's see, taillights. What if I just... Hmm. You know what might be kind of cool? If we take this chromey one and we like... Okay, we're gonna have to shrink that first. Like move it up. And we flip it on like that. No, more like that. Yeah. And, um. Let me make sure it is chrome. 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 Okay. And uh, then we shrink it. Nope. Shrink it down there. And then we kind of put it on there, keeping with the same, uh, kind of style as the indicators. And I think that might actually look kind of good. I don't know about you guys, but... I mean, it might be kind of weird, but, you know. Yeah, that... Yeah. That actually looks... Well, it, it's... It's not normal. Okay, wait. I think there's actually a, something here where you can actually widen out the tail. No? No? No. I think you can do it for the front, though, right? Uh... 
yeah, you can make this wider. Which I think I am going to do so that I can fit slightly larger uh, taillights on it. Okay, you know, that's not a good idea. I'm just going to put some circular, a pair of, like, a circular taillights on the back because I don't know about this idea. This is kind of not really working out. Yeah, twin headlights. It's a Corvette before Corvettes ever did it. And then, once again, we'll get that this big badge. You know? Big badge. And, uh, is there any place... Oops. Is there any place for my exhaust? Nope. Uh, now, side. I don't think much needs to be done here other than, uh, some handles. And, uh, 60s handles. I'm gonna say that this one's pretty 60s because it's, like, the only one where you actually reach your hands in it and it's also chrome and I mean just just look at it and every time I place the handles I feel like they're really small like they they are so small they just like look at this when you place it it's tiny it's not gonna fit those big American hands you know it's not gonna fit the American feet because you know that uh, Americans don't use their hands to open doors they use their feet because it's more manly and Americanly you know, it's just okay. Now, I have saved some colors here. I saved uh, this one and this one, other than the stock colors. And I think this one looks like a really good color for this car. So I'm gonna stick with that. Now this V8 that looks good. Cast. Uh, uh get out of my face, please. I'm gonna raise it up. All right, too big. Okay, just leave it there. You gotta have an overhead cam because this is gonna be a performance car. You gotta have four valves. Uh, actually, we're gonna go aluminum because that's probably gonna be stronger. Uh, forged is always a better way to go, other than besides cast. Um, I'm gonna actually do all this stuff correctly here. Single barrel, let's say two barrel. Twin carb, no, single barrel. And the reason I kind of like these is because. Every time you look at it, I love the way it says two barrel on there. And I just think it looks so classic. So, <clears throat> I'll put on regular leaded because I like that. Exhausts, tubular, dual, because it's a V8. You know, shove that, all of that, all of those fumes into that single little thing. Now, okay, so a lot of stuff is going wrong here. What you normally have to do, if your compression's up too high, you have to keep lowering your compression until you get it to the right spot there. And then you can also, uh, it also, sometimes it has some stuff to do with the cam profile. And, uh, hmm, let's see. It's probably RPM is probably a bit, yeah, there we go. Because you see, as soon as I lowered that RPM, everyone thing went cool. Nixon timing can help. And uh, that's actually helping a lot. You see those performance index numbers going up, up, up. And by the way, I'm playing this on the key engine because uh, actually the uh, Unreal 4 engine is in beta and you can play with that if you want to. But the key engine is a lot more stable and it's also where I have all of my cars saved. So that's why I'm going to do this. Fuel mixture also has something to do with it as well. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, I like I always like to do this way as you can see. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't. I can never. It, it's always hard to figure out what that part is. This part right here. It's so tiny that you never know. I, I can never figure out what that part is ever. But uh, uh we can just do the other mode, I guess. See how much horsepower this makes. So 86 horsepower standing still. That's pretty good. Okay, that's that's rising. It's rising. Uh, all, only 247 horsepower. Not much torque either. Okay, so um, maybe we could differentiate between some of this stuff. Raise the cam profile a little bit. Because this thing is not making, even making 300 horsepower. How about we just say that this thing is the base model? Because this isn't 
this isn't a super high performance. This is a base model. Super high for the high performance. Blech, blech. Man, I'm tripping over myself. I'm so excited. I'm tripping over. Blech. I'm doing it again. Probably because I'm tired. Because everything is terrible. So base, even though it's base, yeah, it comes with a manual because you know that's the way it goes. Three gears because it's nothing fancy. Top speed is estimated top speed is 155 miles per hour. So let's just raise it up, oh, oh. raise it up, and then let's go. I'm gonna say medium compound road because I don't really see anything. And man, these are shrimpy tires. They're bigger and our rims. I think actually this is a pretty 60s rim by itself, especially for a base car. And the wheels are always so far inset, unless you're looking at a really tiny car. And uh, also, one more thing, you never really want to go as wide as you do with the front tire with the rear tire, because if you see you do that, you get kind of that tire poking through. But uh, when you look and you're like, how is the tire rotating? Because it's whacking itself. Um, but, yeah, let's say steel, because it's not wrong. Brakes, front brakes, disc, that's pretty seven that's pretty sixties. Drum brakes, that's pretty much normal. Uh no one to trade, this isn't a fancy car. Brake airflow, I guess we could raise that a little bit. Um Seats. This is a four seater. It's not supposed to be family friendly, but it's supposed to sit enough people. Let's say standard interior, standard AM. Gotta have power steering because this car is huge. And uh I'm gonna say advanced 60s, because <clears throat> I like it. I like the safety to be higher because then the occupants are safe. Um, well, I know that this one, <clears throat> with the material cost, hydro pneumatic is way off the charts. Uh, and you're gonna wanna stick with one of these two. I'm gonna go with the standard because it has higher sportiness. Passive, and I'm gonna say just normal. So, uh, if you look here, let's see, um, so I'd say that's pretty successful, and, uh, overview, design, yeah, test track, 149 miles per hour, so that's pretty good. For the amount of horsepower this is making, that's really good. 068 seconds, that's pretty normal. 9 miles per gallon, in the 60s nobody cared about mileage, and, uh, Eleven thousand dollars. Well, let's go raise that up. <clears throat> so now we go on family sport, muscle and pony. All right. Uh, and we got to think of a name for this thing. So um, all the cars I make are Danes because that's just the name that I came up with for some reason. And let's just say it's like a cool name. I would say Challenger, but that's taken. Charger, that's taken. All, all the good names are taken. So we could say, I got it. It's a perfect name. This name will bring about fear. The Danes Duckling. The Duckling is the perfect name. No, I'm just kidding. Um, ah, man. You know, this is hard, because I don't really know what to what to think about. Let's just say Tiger. I mean I know that's kind of generic, but Tiger is still a pretty good name. And uh yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good success. So uh anyway that'll that's about it for this video, so Till um till I make another video of course. <laughs> um this has been Greater Robin and uh Bye